Hello friends and welcome to this session of network policy of Kubernetes. So this is going to be a very interesting topics in which you can uh, learn how can we isolate a particular pod uh, to not communicate with uh, another pod. So we are going to discuss about how to control the traffic flow between uh, different different pods. So in this particular sessions, we are going to discuss what is the network policies and how we are going to create it. And also uh, using the network policies, how we can control uh, our, our traffic flow between the, between the pods. So this is a very important topic as per the CK exam is concerned and you can expect uh, direct questions on this particular topics where they will provide you uh, uh, several pods okay and the pods they will ask you to isolate a particular pod in a particular network uh, so you have to they will provide you also the you know, what type of ingress rules you have to write and what type of egress rules you have to write so they will provide you all the informations if they are concerned the question is concerned regarding to uh, for the cidr range they will allow you for which particular ip in that particular cidr range they want you to uh, put it in the exceptions they will provide you that so all the informations they will provide you to apply it but you have to understand it how you can write a network policies definition file to implement into the environment so you can expect a direct question and this is the you can say that 85 percent chances that uh, the question set that you are getting in the ck exam will have the network policies uh, related questions so what is the network policies in the kubernetes the pod all the pods you can say is in the non-isolated state means that every pod either it is in the different different node different different namespace are communicating with each other all the times when it required so suppose you in the production environment you want only the front end pod will communicate with the db pods none of the other pod will able to communicate so in that case you have to apply the network policies on the db uh, db pod so that it will interact or accept any uh, incoming traffic uh, coming from the front end pod and the outgoing uh, only goes to the front end pod so in this way you can isolate or uh, apply a particular network policies on a particular pod so any of the pod can communicate with the another pod we already covered that particular things the pod uh, the, if, if the, you have um, a small scale of, um, you can say the very small cluster in which you managing the productions and, and the development environment for testing purpose only, then in that case the every pod is communicating the the the, the prod uh, the, the pod that is a part of the prod name is space communicating with the development in uh, development prod. The pod. So it, this is not a good way. So you can isolate uh, or, or make a restriction, uh, apply a network, network, network policies so that it will not, uh, there is no communications between that particular pod. So you can uh, apply on the basis of net, uh, the labels. Okay, every pod that you uh, that you create in, in in environment have some labels on that particular labels a name is space. So you can uh, apply a network policies in the definitions file. We are going to look into uh, those aspects also in the uh, in coming slides. So how we can define define a, a definitions file for the network policies to restrict um, uh, a pod or bring that particular pod in isolated state or allow only a particular type of traffics. So in this example, you can see that we have two pod in a node one and two pod three and four in the node two. So you can see that every pod is communicating with every pod. So you can make a restriction like the pod one in the development environment only communicate with the pod one, pod four of the develop in the development name space. So you can make a, such types of restrictions also or pod two can communicate with the, all the pod except pod one. So these types of things can be implemented or this is the possibility you can pro provide a CIDR range that okay for this particular CIDR range in which we captured uh, all the 256 IP but we are putting a particular IP in that particular range 
to uh, as an exception IP. So the exceptional IP uh, port will communicate, but other port in the CID range will not uh, communicate with that particular port. So these types of restrictions can be also uh, done. So this is the definition file of the network policy. You can see that the kind is the network policies and the name that justify what currently you are doing, uh, denying or accepting or particular restriction a particular port to not talk with the, any other port except one. The name spaces where the that you uh, you are going to um, implement it. The port selector. Uh, this is the very important thing where you provide the match label that which for which particular port you are implementing these uh, rules. So on the basis of label, because every port, if you provide it or not provide it by default, uh, suppose I am creating a, a port one into the environment. So automatically the Kubernetes will apply a label that is run. Uh, run is equal to port zero one. So you can, if you apply, then you have to uh, use that only. Or if you not provide, then the port name will be uh, used as the run the port name. And the policy type, the ingress, the incoming traffic coming to that particular port, you want to restrict that. Aggress is outgoing traffic from that particular port to other ports can be restricted. So these types of um, uh, restriction you can uh, do. Uh, if you look into the, uh, the documentations, here you have a more detail, like this is the name of the uh, network policies and where we have the port uh, selected, the, the role is equal to DB. So this is the uh, label you can say at the time of creation of the port uh, we uh, we added these types of uh, labels the policies is the ingress and aggress and here is the detail of the ingress that which type of traffic you are restricting so you can see the ip block they it have the cidr range okay so this is it, it, it's blocking uh, uh, several ips except one Okay, so uh, also the name selected, the, the project, uh, the, the label of the pod have the my project. So this is the this is the name space selected and the pod selected. Both are different things. So label, uh, the, we can provide a label on the basis of uh, the name spaces also, where we can select the, this, this particular in the project, uh, my, my project and the pod have the different label where role is equal to front end. So these types of things um, can be managed by the network network policies and the port is also defined and for the outgoing from outgoing from uh, the port to the other uh, other port how how we can restrict for a particular uh, ip block we are providing again the cid range and what is the ports reports so you can see that the network policies is the very important and very critical thing so you can expect a direct question on this particular area uh, so now I'm going to um, jump uh, into the lab session because this is a theoretical aspect and when you uh, see the lab se session of the network policies, you have a better understanding that what is previously allowed and after then applying the network policy, how we are go restricting that particular communications between the, uh, the between the two uh, ports. So the packet flows, we, uh, we will check the packet flow between the uh, all the ports so after applying the packet flow will be get a stop so you will have a better understanding when you uh, look into the lab so i'm going to jump into the lab for a better understanding on this particular topic okay so let's first monitor the environment qctl get port currently we don't have any port qctl get nut pol this is the sort cut of network policy. So we don't have any not network policy as well. So what we are currently doing, going to do, we are going to create a two pod. Okay. So QCTL run pod 01. And we are going to use image as busy box. Okay and the command sleep for 4800 okay so this will create a port again we are going to create another port of name port 2 okay so two ports has been created qctl get port so this is the two port okay let's clear the screen 
to part or put up white. So here we have our two ports which currently are running into the cluster. Okay, so now I am going to describe one port. So just, so just to need to verify what is the label because we didn't provide it any label and Kubernetes by default provide a label for every port. If you didn't provide it by default, it's provide uh, as run is equal to port 01. Let's verify it. QCTL describe port port 01. So if you scroll a little bit, you can see that the automatically Kubernetes provide a label for port 01. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Uh, we have the command already there. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to access port 1 from port 2. So let's go inside the port 2, QCTL. Exit it port 02. We are going inside the container port 2 and then from there we are going to ping the IP of port 1 so that we can see the packets is flowing or not. So currently we are inside uh, port 2 container and from here we are going to ping the IP of port 01. So what is the IP of port 01? It's 10.50.0.4 and you can see that the packet uh, is transferring very perfectly fine. So just close it. So now we are what we are going to do, we are going to apply a network policies on port 1 where we are restrict, going to restrict the ingress traffic that all the traffic that coming towards the port 1. Currently we are uh, able to ping from port 2 to port 1. Now we are going to restrict it. So how we can do that? Let's come out from this particular container. And we have the file here. Let's me let me open it. Network policy file. So you can see that this is the same file we, what we provided in in the slide. So we are currently restricting the policy type is only ingress. So we are applying this to the pod pod 01 because we have already seen the label there. And uh, this is the kind of network policy and the name of the policy is uh, deny network policy. So we are denying the ingress traffic to that towards that particular pod and the pod we are having matching level run is equal to pod 01. So it will going to apply the network policy on pod 01 because we have a match level here. Okay. QCTL apply network so it's applied we can verify it qctl get net all so we have the port selector you can see that uh, it's a run is equal to port 01 so it will going to apply every port which have this particular label now we are going to again inside that particular um, uh, container, the port 2 container. Okay. Uh, let me come out. I just forget the IP of that. Let me clear it. QCTL get port of white. Right. So this will provide me the IP. And after that, I am going to go inside it and try to ping it again. Ping 10.50.0.4. So is this time you can see that the ping is not uh, going on. So the, the, the communication between the pod 2 and pod 1 is uh, not uh, happening because we already applied the network policies there and there is a restriction on network pod one that pod one is now not going to accept any 
uh, incoming traffic so we restricted it and uh, let's cancel this so you can see that the 100% packet lost here let me come out from the and qctl get net all we are going to now delete it qctl delete the net all the name is deny okay now again i am going to uh, in, into the container okay and now again I, I will try this time it will the packet flow will start again because i already removed the network policies from port one okay so the packet flow has started So this uh, is the network policies you can say, and uh, now you have to apply the uh, the I, I I I just show you the ingress and you have to uh, you have to use the aggress so that the any of the port zero will also not able to ping the port uh, zero to IP. So you have to apply it also and you can test it or do your hands on in this way also that like you uh, create uh, several ports like 10 number of port and you are blocking a particular CIDR range and, and in the exception you are only allowing one particular IP. So these types of things you can do in a hands-on and uh, let me know in, in case you feel any difficulties. So um, that's all for this particular session guys and we are going if you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day uh, and take care.